Well, hello and welcome to the final video of my large playlist. I've turned this playlist out at near record speed. Okay, uh, is it 34, 35 videos, including this one? Uh, within a week and a half, so I've done very well. And it is finished, okay, so I can chill out, have a rest day, get some other content done. So we're looking at the top 100 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. I did the top 100 fights in this category at the start of the playlist. thought this were a perfect way to end the playlist off. So... 100 to 91. Okay, don't forget in this one, some fighters didn't have ratings, but still get in. Uh, in 100th place, okay, is Juan Zurita. Okay, a fight added over last year. He had 21 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. And in 99th place, okay, Baby Joe Gans um, also comes in with 21. Two of a number of fighters were 21, as you can see here. In 98th place, okay, former champion Johnny Saxton also comes in with 21. As does 97th place, former NBA middleweight champion Gorilla Jones, okay, Hall of Famer. He also has 21. In 96th place, okay, Charlie Burley squeezes into top 100 with 21. And in 95th place, Brazilian um, maestro Edda Joffre also has 21 wins against rated fighters, champs, or Hall of Famers. In 94th place, okay, Quicksilver Virgil Hill comes in with 21. And in 93rd place, okay, Lennox the Lion Lewis um, also comes in with 21. In 92nd place, Todd Morgan, the super featherweight champion, uh, Todd Morgan comes in also at the lower end of the top 100 in this category with 22 and a fighter who really didn't have ratings for much of his career at all, Memphis Palmar, still scores 22, coming in the top 100. If Memphis Palmar had had ratings for his whole career, his number would have been God knows what, okay? He had a massive resume and a very tough quality resume fighting many great fighters and top fighters. So... There is 100 down to 91, okay, 100 down to 91 on my final video, my uh, top 100. So let us um, leave 191, let's now look at the um, countdown going 90 um, down to 81 and see which fighters come next in this countdown. So when we look at number 90, okay, we see um, the Ghetto Wizard Benny Leonard, who also didn't have ratings for most of his career, but still scores in the top 100 with 22. Former middleweight champion Freddie Steele is next, okay, Freddie Steele is in 89th place, and in 88th place, the Bobcat Bob Montgomery comes in with 22 wins against rated fighters, champs, or Hall of Famers as well. In 87th place, okay, light heavyweight champion Billy Conn also comes in with 22, and in 86th place, okay, Marco Antonio Barrera um, also comes in with 22. 85th place, okay, is the Eastern Assassin, the former long-reigning heavyweight king, Larry Holmes, um, who scores 22. As does another former heavyweight champion, Vladimir Klitschko, um, who comes in 84th place, also scoring 22 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. So... 83rd place, okay, going up to 23, we have a uh, lower weight fighter, Newsboy Brown. Okay, Newsboy Brown comes in with 23. And another fighter who I have no doubt, okay, um, in overall fights against rated fights, champs or Hall of Famers, probably would have hit 100 or around there, uh, or over there, um, if he had ratings for most of his career, and that is the great Johnny Dundee, the featherweight and super featherweight champion. He still comes in with 23, even though ratings were absent for virtually most of his career. In 81st place, okay, Lou Bruillard, okay, comes in also with 23, the former um, welterweight champion. So... Ultimately, there's the next 10. Okay, we've gone 100 down to 81. Okay, the numbers are creeping up at the moment. Um, like all these countdowns, they escalate and go higher as we get nearer to the top. Okay, um, but there's 90 to 81. Let's go 80 to 71 and see which 10 fighters fall next in this countdown. So, looking at number 80, number 80 is Sammy Mandel, okay, another fighter badly hurt by the ratings, but still scores in the top 100 from 360 with 24 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. In 79th place, okay, we have Young Corbett the third, okay, an excellent fighter from his time, he also scored 24, as did 78th placed Al Gaynor, okay, who comes in with 24. In 77th place, okay, former bantamweight Lou Salica uh, also comes in with 24 wins over rated 
Fighters Champs or Hall of Famers. And in 76th place, also on 24, is long reigning linear light of weight champion Gus Lesnovich. In 75th place, former welterweight champion and Hall of Famer Jackie Fields. Okay, he comes in with 24 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. And in 74th place, okay, the middleweight puncher Fred Apostoli um, also comes in with 24. And the final video, another countdown entry for the great light welterweight and lightweight King Carlos Ortiz. Great fighter that he was. Um, he scored high in a lot of um, countdowns. He comes in with 24 in this final video. And 72nd place, okay, the marvellous one, Marvin, Marvin Hagler. He also comes in with 24 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Now, in 71st place, okay, is the Hoosier Bearcat Jack Dillon, the former light heavyweight champion and outstanding fighter in his time. Um, also hurt by no ratings in his career, okay, and he still scored 71st out of 360 with 25 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. Again, if Dillon had ratings... For his whole career, trust me, his number would be enormous, okay? His number also would be approaching 100 or more. So, let us go 70 down to 61. So in 70th place, okay, on this countdown is Jackie Kidberg, okay? Um, the great UK fighter Jackie Kidberg comes in with 25 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, as does another fighter who for most of fights in his career had no ratings, Harry Wills, the Black Panther, the three-time coloured heavyweight king, but he still scores um, well with 25. And in 68th place, okay, the dangerous Black Murderers row fighter, the talented Lloyd Marshall, um, also comes in with 25 as does 67th place explosive thin man, the great puncher Alexis Arguello, um, who also scored 25 wins over rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. It would be interesting to do a video pitching some of the current champions or top fighters now and doing a top 100 to show where they scored at the moment. Well, most of them wouldn't be in it, so I guess there's a little point. In 65th place, excellent Filipino battler Little Pancho, a new fighter this year, comes in also with 26 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. And in 64th place, another great Filipino fighter, Gabriel Little Flash of Lord, rated by many the greatest Filipino fighter prior to Pacquiao. He comes in with 26 in 63rd place, the boxing marvel Jack Britton, again absent for ratings for most of his career, but still comes in with 26 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. And in 62nd place, um, the body puncher Billy Patrol, um, who had a great resume as well, also comes in with 26. In 61st place, okay, on this last countdown on this year's playlist, we have Charles Bud Taylor, okay, Charles Bud Taylor comes in also with 26 wins, against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. So, there's the countdown to 61. Let's go 60 to just outside the top 50. So, in 60th place, okay, we have... Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Um, Julio Cesar Chavez scored 26 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, as did 59th placed Evander The Real Deal Holyfield, who scored 26. And think how great Holyfield's resume is. And in this stat category, he comes 59th. In 58th place, okay, the golden boy Oscar De La Hoya also scored 26 wins over rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. In 57th place, okay, featherweight puncher Sandy Sadler comes in with 27. And in 56th place, the Hermica Hurricane, the tough and rugged Luambas, um, also comes in with 27. Man Tequila, okay, the great welterweight King Jose Napolis comes next in 55th place. He scored 27 wins over rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. And in 54th place, time with Napolis is the executioner Bernard Hopkins, who also comes in with 27. And the final fighter here on this little run of 27 in 53rd place is actually Floyd Mayweather Jr., who comes 53rd overall from the top 100. Uh, far better than he did in the overall fights category, because he was unbeaten, but still is outside the top 50 at 53 with 27. Now, jumping to the final two spots just outside the top 50. In 52nd place, okay, we have Baby Arizmendi, okay, um, another fighter who moved a lot of weights and fought lots of great fighters. Um, he comes in with 28. And Petey Cerrone, okay, the former featherweight champion who, of course, was dethroned by Armstrong, as I've mentioned before. He comes in 51st place with 28 wins over rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Fame fighters. 
So there's the countdown, 100 to 51, okay? We're now going to go into the top 50 as the numbers continue to grow and we'll unveil our number one spot. So... In 50th place, okay, is Joey Giardello, the middleweight Hall of Famer. Joey Giardello comes in with 29 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. And in 49th place, the explosive Bo Jack also comes in with 29. Former light heavyweight champion John Henry Lewis, okay, comes next in 48th place. He also scored 29 uh, wins against rated fighters, champs, or Hall of Famers. While in 47th place, okay, Roy Jones Jr. comes in with 29 as well so into the 30 plus club in 46 places the very underrated now hall of famer um sid terris okay the former lightweight terror sid terris comes in with 30 wins against rated fighters champions or hall of famers and in 45th place okay the tough fritzy zivich also comes in with 30 as does 44th placed former Olympic gold medalist and flyweight champion Frankie Gennaro, who comes in also with 30. Former undisputed lightweight champion and four-weight champion Roberto Duran comes next in 43rd place. Duran only scores 43rd in this category, uh, with 30 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. It makes you wonder who's coming up, doesn't it? <laughs> in 42nd place, okay, the Hawaiian punch, Carl Bobo Olsen. Um, he closes out the group of 30 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers in 42nd place. And the final fighter, okay, just outside the top 40, is actually um, the puncher and weight mover, Young Stribling, okay. He comes in with 31 wins against Rated Fighters Champions or Hall of Famers. So, there's 100 to 41. Let's now go into the top 40 as the numbers continue to grow. Who has taken the top spot in this one? There are a number of contenders. So, let's go to number 40. Number 40 is indeed Chalky Wright, okay? The former featherweight Hall of Famer um, who fought Henry Armstrong, of course, as well as many other great fighters. Chalky Wright comes in 40th place with 31 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. As does 39th place, Jimmy McLarnin, who also comes in with 31. So in 38th place, the Filipino puncher, Seferino Garcia, he comes in with 32 wins against Rated Fighters Champions or Hall of Famers. While in 37th place, okay, Teddy Roz, the former middleweight champion, also comes in with 32. In 36th place, Joey Maxim, the former rugged light heavyweight champion, he comes in also with 32. And to close out the group of 32, who've got the most wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers, is 35th placed Harold Johnson. So, going above to 33 in 34th place, okay, is Joe Old Bones Brown. Joe Brown scored 33 wins over rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. And another middleweight champion, a very underrated fighter in 33rd place, is Ken Overling, who also scored 33. In 32nd place, the great bantamweight lineal king, Panama Al Brown, a multi-year lineal champion at bantamweight. He comes in with 33. And in 31st place, a fighter I constantly rave is underrated, Fidel LaBarba, the great lowerweight flyweight champion. He comes in with 33 fights, uh, wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. So Fidel LaBarba, the Hall of Fame former flyweight champion, comes just outside the top 30. Now let's go on to the countdown, going 30 down to 21. We are getting close to the finish of the playlist now. So let's go 30, and 30 is the toy bulldog Mickey Walker, another fighter hurt by ratings, um, but he still scores top 30, even though a portion of his career was before the advent of the ratings. He comes in with 34 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. And in 29th place, okay, the Cuban Kid Gavilan uh, comes in with a mighty impressive 35. As does 28th placed Luis Manuel Rodriguez, the former undisputed lineal welterweight champion, albeit a short time during his fight series with Emil Griffith, but he still comes in very highly. Top 30 out of 360 with 35. In 27th place, the raging bull Jake LaMotta also scores 35 on his very underrated resume. And in 26th place, even without ratings, God knows his numbers would have been immense, probably over 130, 140, is 26th place Sam Langford, who still, without ratings for virtually all his major fights in his career, still scores 36 and comes 26 out of 360. So Langford hasn't topped the last video, but still without, with, that, with, the, with the absence of ratings, he's still done incredibly well. In 25th place, okay, Coco Kid um, comes in with 36 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. And in 24th place, the excellent Luis Kid Kaplan uh, comes 
comes in just edging out Coco Kid and Langford with 37. 23rd place, I keep saying he's underrated, the great Sammy Ango, the Hall of Famer, who beat eight Hall of Famers, comes in with 38. And in 22nd place, okay, the Cuban Bonbon Kid Chocolate comes in with 39. And in 21st place, with 39 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, an incredible number, really, from 61 fights, is the great Muhammad Ali with 39. So let's go into the top 20 now, okay, on this last video. So... In 20th place, even absent ratings for a large portion of his career, still scores top 20, is the very underrated Hall of Famer Dave Shade, the uh, terrorising welterweight and middleweight contender, very, very capable fighter he was, comes in with 42. And just ahead of Dave Shade, okay, in 19th place, is a great Black Murderers Row fighter, Holman Williams, who scores a staggering 43 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. Floyd's 27, he's way back in the dark now. In 18th place, the Bantamweight King Manuel Ortiz scores very highly again, 18th out of 360 with 43. And in 17th place, okay, another Black Murderers Row fighter, the dangerous and talented fighter Jimmy Bivins, comes in 17th place with 43 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. In 16th place, okay, the great lightweight King Ike Williams comes in with 45 as does number 15, the Brown Bomber Joe Lewis, who from 69 fights scored 45 wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. That is a massive percentage. In 14th place, okay, the non-champion Hall of Famer, one of the great fighters of his time, Wesley Ramey. Massive resume he had, and he scored 47 wins over rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. As did 13th placed Emil Griffith, who come in with a staggering 47, but apparently didn't fight anybody to some people. In 12th place, okay, Willow the Wisp Willie Pep scores highly in this one coming 12th with 48. And just outside the top 10 is the great Cincinnati Cobra, Ezard Charles. But still, 11th out of 360 is a massive result with 49 wins over rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. We'll have to see the fighters added next year to see if they can punch into this. It will be hard. So let's go into the top 10. 10 down to 2 in 10th place. On this last video on this playlist, we are going over the half century with the former super featherweight uh, and featherweight Benny Bass, okay, who comes in with a staggering 51 wins over rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. In ninth place, okay, Tommy Loughran, the Philly Phantom, comes in top 10 um, with a massive 52. And in eighth place, the great flyweight terror Midget Walgast. He had fast hands through, fast combinations. Great fighter he was in a Hall of Famer, comes eighth with 56. In 7th place, even though ratings existed for a quarter of his career, the great Harry Greb still scores a staggering 62 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. What his number would have been, I am not even going to pretend that I would know, but it would be enormous, well over 100. So in 6th place, okay, Freddie Miller, the great featherweight king, comes in with 64, as does top 5 place Tony Canzaneri, who also comes in with 64 wins against rated fighters, champs or Hall of Famers. Floyd's 27 is now way behind. In 4th uh, place, Homicide Henry Armstrong comes in with a staggering 65. And in 3rd place, okay, Ancient Archie, uh, better as Armstrong and Cantoneri by a few, coming in with 67. And number 2 on this countdown is the great 6-time lineal champion, the man himself, Sugar Ray Robinson, who scored a staggering 69 wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. So that leaves our number one on the last video of the 2019 stat update from my database. Uh, the last fighter to top a playlist on the last video. And it is the incredible career of Maxi Rosenblum. Maxi Rosenblum tops this last video in wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Beating Robinson 69 and Archie Moore 67. Coming in with a total of 82. Just think about that. 82 wins against top 10 rated fighters, world champions or Hall of Famers. 82. Let that number sink in. 82. How many fights has Jamal Charlo had? Over 30? Go figure. So there is the end of my Mammoth 2019 stat update. I did a, a series last year, 25 videos. This one has 35. More stat categories. 
95 more fighters next year many more fighters are going to be added i'm still deliberating whether to do this next year i may do i may not i initially said yes but now i'm debating it it is a lot of grinding hard work but many many more fighters are going to be added next year i may do them in individual videos every now and then but i'm out for now playlist concluded